An ant is on a sphere. It needs to crawl to a cube of sugar on the sphere. To do so, it can take many different paths. What's the shortest path? Let's understand with two points in 2D. We can connect them with arcs of circles. As the circle grows, the arc shortens. It approaches the shortest straight line path. So, the shortest path can be thought of as the arc of the largest circle through the two points. The same applies to the sphere. We can join these two points by an arc along the sphere. This is the corresponding circle. But many such circles exist. Which one is the largest? Notice, the circle grows until it reaches a point, then starts shrinking. So, at exactly this point, it's the largest. What's special about this point? The center of the circle and the sphere are the same. Beyond this, as the circle grows larger, it dips below the sphere, making it an invalid path for the ant. So, connecting the ant and the sugar with the circle that shares the sphere's center gives the shortest path. Hence, this is the shortest path the ant should take.